In this problem, we are going to use the information given to graph a straight line and then use the graph to answer questions. Our question says, two gerbils cost eight dollars, ten gerbils cost sixteen dollars. How much would five gerbils cost? In there is the information that I need to put two points on my graph and then I'll draw a line through them. The first thing I have to do though is scale my axes. We have numbers that don't necessarily fit if we scale 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on an axis. I'm going to put the cost on this side, and I'm going to put the number of gerbils down here. On my x-axis, the number of gerbils have to be represented. I look at the numbers that I have. I have two gerbils, ten gerbils, five gerbils, and I look for the largest of those numbers. Ten gerbils is the largest number that I have to put on the graph. When I look at my graph paper, I see that I have ten squares going across. So this is an easy axis to scale because I can make 0.5 centimeters, which is the width of one square on the graph paper, equal to one gerbil. and then I put the numbers along the axis. On the y-axis, I'm putting my money. But now I have larger numbers. I have $8 and $16. I have to make sure the largest number, the 16, will fit along here. And I don't want the 16 to be way down close to the x-axis, because that would force my line to lie too close to the x-axis and make it hard to answer the question correctly. If I make each square on my graph paper equal to two dollars, then I can write in the numbers along the axis two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. I have chosen a scale where sixteen will fit and where I'm using the space on my graph paper. This process takes a bit of time, but once you do it, and if you do it correctly, it makes the rest of the problem go very quickly, and it's very likely you, you will get the right answer. Now let's graph our points. We know two gerbils cost eight dollars, so I find two on the x-axis, eight on the y-axis, and I put that dot, and identify it. We know 10 gerbils cost $16, 10 on the x-axis, 16 on the y-axis, we put a dot, I identify that point, and now using a ruler, which I don't have, we use the ruler to make a straight line all the way across the graph going through those two points. It's time to answer our question. How much would five gerbils cost? We find five gerbils along the x-axis, draw a dotted line straight up until I hit my line, put a dot, and then from that dot, draw a dotted line straight across until I hit my other axis. That's the answer to my question, 10. So the answer to the question is that five gerbils should cost $10. Give the answer with the unit of measure, and you're finished. In this example, I am told that I go 550 kilometers on 40 liters of gas. 12 liters of gas takes me 120 kilometers. How many liters of gas do I need to go 210 kilometers? I'll start by scaling my axes, and I'm going to put the kilometers up here, and the liters down here. Looking at the x-axis, I have 40 liters and 12 liters. The biggest number is 40. I have to make sure that 40 is going to fit on this axis. If I make each square of my graph paper equal to 5, forty will be right here. So it will fit on my graph but I'm using my space along the x-axis. That means 
each square is equal to 5 liters, on my scale I say x-axis 0.5 centimeters equals 5 liters. On the y-axis, I'm putting the kilometers, I have 550, 120, 210. I have to make sure the largest number fits, the 550. If I make each square on the graph paper equal to 50 kilometers, goes way up here. That way it will fit on the graph, but I'm using my space along the y-axis. That means each square on my graph paper is equal to 50 kilometers, and I write that here. Use the unit of measure as well when you fill in your scale. Now it's time to plot my points. 550 kilometers on 40 liters of gas gives me a point here. Twelve liters of gas and 120 kilometers gives me a point right about here. Use a ruler to draw a line. I don't have a ruler, but make sure on your paper that you use a ruler to draw a line through these two points. The neater your graph and the straighter you draw your line, the more likely you are to get the right answer. Finally, I can answer the question, how many liters of gas do I need to go 210 kilometers? I find 210 kilometers on this axis and I draw a dotted line straight across until I hit the line that I graphed. From that dot I go straight down to the other axis and I have about 18. So I'm writing the point here, 18, 210, and my final answer is that for 210 kilometers I should need 18 liters of gas. Make sure to include the unit of measure when you give your answer.